Did you see that? Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. As you guys can see by the title, we're going to be doing, well I'm going to be doing, a one brand tutorial with Cover FX. And I'm super excited because I just feel like Cover FX is slept on because... Let's be real, I said this later on in the video, Cover FX looks boring, it's very underwhelming, but they make amazing products, especially for the skin, like, the skin does what you need it to do, okay? Also, Cover FX said that they were going to be giving 70% of their social budget to people of color, so I think that's lit, even though, you know, black people didn't just come out or whatever, but it's lit. I can appreciate the efforts that brands are trying to put out to make all of us feel included. So, without further ado, make sure you guys like this video for me. Make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel and keep watching if you want to see how I got this look. Okay guys, so today we're going to get straight into it. As you can see by the title, I'm doing a one brand tutorial. I haven't done one in a while and I decided to do cover effects because one, nobody really talks about cover effects like that. But their products are actually pretty lit. Well, they're skin products, to me at least. Um, so I'm just going to be doing a regular face, but the focus of this video is going to be the products, how I feel about them, and all that kind of stuff. We're not doing a look. Give you guys knowledge. So, yeah, I'm going to do my brows off camera because Cover Fix doesn't have any brow products or I don't have any from them. So I'm going to do my brows and I'm going to be back. So I did go ahead and moisturize off camera and did my brows. I think they look really good you guys know I love me a feather brow so now I'm gonna go ahead and get into this face so you're gonna want to start with priming and I have the cover FX primer this is called water cloud so let me tell you guys so I did purchase these products from Sephora and Ulta you guys know that cover FX is leaving Sephora so I so Ulta doesn't even have the whole line, and I'm going to get into that later. But um, I got some of this stuff for half off at Sephora, so that's really why I was like, let me just try to get in where I can fit in. So this is why I got this primer. Um, would I have probably picked this up on a regular? No, not this specific one. I do like Cover FX primers, but I don't know exactly what this is, but we're going to try it. So it claims to be a weightless cooling mousse that refreshes skin and helps defend against pollution and blue light rays create an ultra smooth canvas for flawless makeup application perfect for all types so this is what it looks like I've never tried this one I have tried like the blurring um, primer from cover FX. I like that one I've tried the um, mattifying one kind of like that one you guys know how I feel about mattifying primers and I've tried the illuminating one it's cool but we're gonna try this and see you know, when I hear, when I see cooling, I'm thinking hydrating, and you guys know how I feel about hydrating primers. It does definitely have a cooling effect. And when I saw the name Water Cloud, I wasn't mad at it because I was like 90% sure that it was hydrating anyways. You guys know how I feel about that. And I really like how it feels so far. Feels amazing. Now, you guys, to foundation, guys. Foundation is a struggle because Cover of X makes good foundations. I do have a few of them in my kit for work, but for me, I can't seem to find a good match. The closest thing was G90, but it was still too light. Like, it matched my skin, but when I... When I started highlighting and adding powder, I looked very ghostly. So that was a downfall. So I actually, from Sephora, I got these for half off. I picked up the Natural Finish Foundation in G90 again. And I also picked up the Cover FX Power Play, which is a really good, like I love this foundation. I just wish I could find my shade. And I got N100. So G Golden, I know, is I got this in my shade because this is a natural finish, so this would be something I wear on a lighter day. It wouldn't be as heavy. It would be some ooh, ooh, dropping stuff. It would be something that I wear, you know, just to have a smooth finish, minimal um, what is it called? Minimal concealer and minimal powder, so it would look very natural. So I did pick this up to keep, but I'm not gonna use this one today. We're gonna use this another day. Put that to the side, and then I got N. 90 from Sephora, like I said, this was half off, and then I went, no, I mean, N100, and then I went to Sephora, 
I can't think you guys. Then I went to Ulta because I want to get the foundation and the matching powder. Ulta does not carry the powder, at least mine doesn't. And I wasn't mad about it because to be 100% honest with you, their pressed powder is not my favorite. It's very drying to me. So I, I wasn't on the hunt for it, it just is what it is. But I did pick up N90 and I paid full price for this. I'm not sure the price of it, I think it's like 30 something. So I'm gonna see which one works so one n100 and n90 and i do have g golden but i'm not even gonna bother with that because it's too light i'm gonna take that and this is um n90 and it kind of is a little bit light it matches my skin perfectly but she's a little bit too light. So now I'm gonna see N100, and that looks like it's more my speed. Do you guys even see it? I feel like I need to add more, but I don't wanna go crazy. It's right there. So now I'm gonna use, yep, I like that shade a lot more. It's a little bit darker, but I like to go darker in my foundation. So, I am, well, since I have two, I'm just going to mix the both of them. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and mix N90 and N100. You guys know I don't typically use neutral, but I feel like it's going to work. So let me wash my sponge and I'll be back. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and mix both of them because I think it's going to be like a perfect match. And this isn't saying that you have to mix both. I just know that I'm really picky about my foundations and, you know. And this doesn't mean that you have to go out and buy two, three, four different foundations and match them. I just happen to have them. And I know anything that I personally purchase but don't use, I'm going to make use of in my kit regardless. Like, I bought way more foundations too, especially the darker shades. They had a lot of those, so I made sure that I just stocked up. So don't think that like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to mix. Like no, just go into an Ulta, um, Sephora, well, Sephora. Sephora has a full line, so that would've been better, but go into an Ulta, try to see. You can't get color match in the store right now, but try to see if they have like a shade match thing online or something like that, you know? So I'm gonna go ahead and just apply the foundation. And I actually love the finish of this foundation it's so nice so i'm going to be using my juno and co sponge and i'm just gonna blend that out this is my favorite sponge but you guys the finish of this foundation is so nice and i feel like a lot of people cover let's be real cover effects just looks boring i think it's something that people kind of look over but it's a good brand it really is like their skin products are good um i don't know i probably should have researched this before i got on camera but i'm not sure if they have any like eye pro eye products but if they don't that's not a problem i think a lot of brands mess up when they get out their lane it's better to just stay in your lane if you know skin's your thing keep coming out with good skin product period like today i'm just gonna be giving you guys skin like, look at this foundation. And I think the match is perfect. <laughs> so anyways, um, that's with the foundation on. It looks so good. Like, you guys see, it's like full coverage, but it still has a really natural finish. So now I'm going to use the PowerPlay concealer. I did get some more. I got a few of them. Because, I mean, half off, why not? Why not? So I got Deep N5. I got G Deep 3, G Deep 4. And then I'm, I have my regular, this one I already had, this is N, N medium four. So I'm gonna start off with this one, G Deep Three, which is closest to my skin tone. You guys know I like to layer my um, concealer, so I figured I needed one that was close to my skin tone. And I really, really, really love this concealer. You guys know I've used this before, plenty of times. I just love hydrating products. I love stuff that like hydrate my skin, make it look healthy. I don't like anything that looks 
too mattifying or casket ready because I just feel like that's what powder's for. You should be able to have control over mattifying certain areas, certain areas of your face versus having liquid to super matte products, you know? So look, just look how, look how healthy this concealer looks like. Oh, it looks so good. So now I'm going to blend the out. That is how my face looks after I've added the first layer of concealer. Do you see how healthy my skin looks? Do you see how the center of my face looks super hydrated and radiant versus like the outer part of my face? And that's fine because like if my if my face touches like my shirt, it's not gonna transfer too much. The middle of my face is just a different story. So I freaking love this concealer. I already knew I was gonna like this concealer because I always use it. And now I'm using N Medium 4. And this is gonna be my highlighting shade. You guys can see a significant difference. And I'm gonna just focus that in the center. I like a bright under eye. That's no secret. Do my nose. And I'm just gonna leave that like that. This concealer is um, very liquidy and hydrating as you can see. So I am gonna let that sit for just a little bit so it can thicken up and give me that look that I want. And I've never tried this concealer for contour, but I think it's gonna be dark enough. So I'm gonna try to do a little cream contour situation. Oh, yes she is, she's dark enough. Because guess what, cover effects, that was probably too much. Cover FX does not have a bronzer for me. I guess I could use a face powder, which I said I wasn't able to get my hands on, but I just think it's crazy that you guys make a bronzer, but not for darker shades. Like you have foundations up to, what, three, four shades darker than me, but you don't make a bronzer. Like make it make sense. I've been noticing that with a lot of brands and I just feel like when they make the foundations, they're making them, but they're not making the products to go. I just feel like if a brand is gonna decide to include women of color, people of color, to their line, meaning with foundations and powders, and a lot of times they don't even include powders, then you need to you need to do the full range. You need to make sure that there's blushes available for them, highlights available for them, bronzers available for them, everything, lip liners, lip glosses, lipsticks. If you're gonna include the foundations, if you're not, then just, I just feel like it's kinda like, and this is not to attack cover effects because a lot of brands do it, a lot. Because I was recently in Sephora, NARS came out with um, bronzers, none that I can use, but you have my shade and darker in foundations. I'm confused. So like your consumer, you're saying that your demographics show that women of color I keep saying woman, everybody wears makeup. People of color don't shop with you, but how are we gonna shop with you if you're not making all the products for us? Do you get what I'm saying? So that's just like my little mini rant. So yeah, that's just my mini rant, and I hope that all brands start to take note of that because it, it, for me, it makes a difference whether or not I'm gonna buy from that brand. Because, you know, some people really do like to shop with one brand because, let's be real, I've mentioned this before, this is why I really like doing one brand tutorials. I feel like um, companies make their products to work with each other. So if you buy everything or at least 90% of the stuff from that one brand and use it all together, your face is going to look flawless. Everything is going to work, you know what I'm saying? So some people like to do that so like look out for us okay and maybe we will shop with you guys period I actually really like how that concealer blended into my skin though like it's not super like full coverage so it doesn't look like a streak like a dirt mark on my face it just really melted and gave me like a natural bronze Ooh, looks so good so now I'm gonna blend out this highlight on my face I actually picked up the Cover FX setting powder in the shade Deep, and honestly through this, it looked like it was gonna be like good enough for my under eyes, because you guys know I don't like a stark white 
setting powder under my eyes anyway but I'm pouring this out and this honestly looks too dark for my under eye like I don't want to mess up my face because I love my skin so I'm just going to go ahead and use my Laura Mercier translucent powder only because I know Cover FX has a translucent powder so hopefully this is somewhat similar I haven't used this translucent powder in so long I use a deep one from time to time but Oh wow, <laughs> Lord mercy, yay. But sis, you look good. You look good. So what I'm gonna do, because I didn't get like an all over face powder, I'm just gonna use the Cover FX, um, deep, what is it, deep translucent? Translucent deep, and I'm just gonna set all over my face with that. And I actually really do prefer a um, loose powder on my face whenever I do my makeup, like all over, but it's just so messy. I avoid it as much as I can, but it actually, it be melted into the skin, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and bronze, and we already had a drawn out discussion about the bronzers and how I felt. So I'm just gonna use my Fenty Beauty bronzer and Coco Naughty. I don't need to use anything deeper because I already cream contoured, so. We're just creating some more shadows and depth. We're almost done with the face because again, this is a very simple. This is a very simple face today. I'm going to be using the cover. Why am I saying the brand when we know what the brand is? Because this is a one brand tutorial. <gasps> All right, so I'm gonna be using the monochromatic blush and this is the shade Spice Cinnamon. I love their blushes, I use them all the time. I like to swirl the two. Well, a lot of times I really just use the matte side but I feel like because I don't have highlight today on my cheeks, I can go in with both. And they're really pigmented, they're really smooth, really blendable and I love the color. I actually, I actually have the other one, is it like Mulberry? But I'm gonna use that. Um, when I do more like cool tone kind of looks. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some lashes on, do a lip, and then I'll be back. So you guys, I went ahead and did some lashes and some gloss, kept it really simple. I used my Glow Up Academy lashes in the style Quickie, and then I used my Pat McGrath lip gloss in the shade Dare to Bear. So I will leave all that below, and I'm gonna use the last product, which is a setting spray. You know Cover FX has lots of setting sprays and I'm going to be using this illuminating setting spray. I'm a little nervous because illuminating, I like luminous setting sprays. Illuminating, I don't know. So we're going to see because I really love how my face looks like. My face, you guys are seeing this. Let me get close for you. Do you guys see? Like it's seamless. I'm literally unclockable. You can't tell me anything. So if my face is ruined, it's because it is. Up. And I'm guessing it has little balls in there because there's little specks of luminous things in there. So I'm going to spray my face. Did you see that? Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, now it's spraying normal. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my gosh, it messed up my face, you guys. Do you guys see all that glitter on my face? <sighs> Couldn't have a panic attack, oh my gosh. <laughs> I just hate illuminating primers, you guys. They all do the same thing. They all have this like glittery shit in them and it pisses me off. Oh my gosh, I have to try to fix this. So I'm gonna try to use some powder and tone this down and go over it with my Morphe setting spray, which you guys know I always use, and I'm gonna be back to close this out, okay? So I was able to fix my face as much as I could. That spray really tried to play me because my face was looking good, which is still looking good, but I had to add powders and stuff to like cover it up. Like, that's crazy. But the one brand tutorial was a success, in my opinion. I loved 
everything except that goddamn spray that I use. I feel like everything just makes your skin look so good. I feel like the products are versatile. They have different foundations with different finishes. I know they have another foundation. It's like the drops. I think they add more coverage or a lot sheer. Um, I think they have different primers for different skin types. They have an illuminating setting powder. They have the matte setting powder. They have, I feel like everything for everybody. They even have a cream to powder foundation too which I've used and it's not that bad but I just don't like cream y'all know how I feel about cream um so yeah they have everything so make sure you guys check out cover effects because Tasha approves it all except the spray forget the spray maybe I need to try a different spray um if you guys have tried the cover effects spray I think they have about three of them let me know which one you guys like and I will definitely check it out but yeah thanks so much for watching um I love doing one brand tutorials so you guys will be seeing more and I will see you guys in my next video.